Hello everybody, this is Cyber2 News here today. Today we're going to be talking about some of the greatest, you know, this is the most important and you know, disappointing news ever in Call of Duty history that we've ever heard since three years ago. Hello guys, this is Cyber2 today. I'm being sponsored by FNX Fit. These guys are, have awesome gear and awesome supplements for you guys to use for any active lifestyle. FNX Fit is committed to creating awesome supplements and healthy supplements to support any active lifestyle for many years to come, guys. So you guys will hit that link in the description down below or go to fnxfit.com. And if you guys use code SYPHER2 at checkout, you guys will get 15% off. So... Use code Cypher2 at checkout to get 50% off your order today, guys, at fnxfit.com. Hashtag rise together. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Cypher2 Today. I'm back at it again with another video today. As you guys saw yesterday, or two days ago, whenever this video was going live, I live streamed the other day, posted the video the same day for you guys. So, I'm be coming back to the channel just a little bit for you guys here in the next couple weeks or so. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for sticking around this channel. We have, you know, for the longest time, stay with the channel. Um, but today we're going to be talking about some of the most disappointing news ever in Call of Duty history that I can think of off the top of my head besides maybe Modern Warfare 2 remaster just being a campaign remaster. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of really that's been really disappointing in the Call of Duty community that is relevant to about everybody. Um, and not just a few people, um, you know, who don't like Call of Duty or whatever, I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, please do hit the link in the description down below if you guys want to go check out fnxfit.com. They have some of the greatest workout gear for you guys. I've been sponsored by them now for a little bit, so, you know, give them some love, guys. Um, they do make some really good gear. I mean, I use it all the time. Um, I really like the whey protein they have. It's really good. It tastes exactly, the one that I got... Um, tastes exactly like peanut butter cups. I think it's like peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter, something like that. It tastes exactly like peanut butter cups. Just saying. So if you like that flavor or whatever, you guys want to get some balanced greens. They have their super greens, which gives you some greens, guys, for you guys for the day. Um, but anyway, like I said, today we were talking about Call of Duty, um, specifically Cold War, because I mean, Cold War to me is a game that I would like to play. You know, more of. It's just, I just don't play a lot of it. And it's mostly due to S score based matchmaking, SBMM. I mean, everybody knows about it, you know, everybody's talking about it, all these big YouTube channels. I mean, I'm talking about it, Nero's Cinema is talking about it. I mean, 8 Thoughts did a video on it. I mean, even Hollow and some of these guys have even touched upon it. You know, it's definitely known in the Call of Duty community by now, regardless of whether, whether you like the game, whether you dislike it, whether you agree with it, whether you don't agree with it. Everybody knows about it at this point. I think it's probably the most talked about topic in Call of Duty. And a couple of days ago, Call of Duty, you know, Activision held their annual, you know, talk about Call of Duty, you know, how, you know, talk about the profits, sales, stuff like that. And apparently, Call of Duty sales in 2020 um, have skyrocketed three times percent, you know, than the year of 2019. Um, so sales and you know, overall sales everywhere has increased by three times. I mean, even microtransactions in the stores have increased almost to 4% higher. Um, Call of Duty sales, you know, copies of the game has been increased by almost 5%. And then, you know, just overall Warzone sales, you know, has increased a ton as well. So, I mean, you know, with that in mind, I guess I'd have to kind of play with, you know, mostly that, you know, most people have been in lockdown, you know, for like the past two years almost. So. I mean, that may be, you know, the stable point of it, but, you know, maybe, you know, also, you know, Warzone is also free to play, so you gotta think about it like this, you know, with Warzone being free to play, you know, everybody's like, you know, I don't mind, you know, spending a couple, you know, $10 on a skin, or, you know, maybe, hey, this pack looks kind of cool, you know, maybe I'll buy it, you know what I mean? It's free to play anyway, you know, that's how people think, you know, when they see something that's free to play. Honestly, I think the same way myself on Call of Duty Mobile, um, for some things, um, I will be honest with you. Um, but for the most of all, I don't spend a lot on Call of Duty Mobile besides maybe the Battle Pass. Um, I'll buy the Battle Pass in COD Mobile and stuff like that. But other than that, I really don't spend a lot on Call of Duty Mobile. Um, but anyway, getting off track there. Um, I just want to say I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised. You know, with Warzone being the thing and how popular Warzone was and still is technically. 
Um, I'm not surprised at all. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. You know, War I don't personally like Warzone, and I'll talk about that in another video. But me myself is, I'm just not surprised at all. I mean, Call of Duty, you know, it's been a staple. I mean, Modern Warfare, you know, they made a ton of sales off of 2019's Call of Duty release, you know, due to the nostalgia. And then Cold War released, and everybody was like, you know what? We'll go back to some Treyarch old school days, and that as well also made them tons of profit, you know, just on the nostalgia factor alone. You know of the game you know because everybody loves the old school classic call of duties and a lot of us want to go back to those days you know, me and myself included but the thing here with cold war is you know the SBMN, and apparently during this you know press conference you know this conference that call of duty you know president of activision all this stuff had apparently they're gonna keep score based matchmaking in the game they've already confirmed it because apparently score based matchmaking is making them a tons more money than any other you know thing they've added in call of duty since the battle pass um, and this is because due to the fact I mean you gotta look at this you know the Activision right now is trying to keep the players who don't play call of duty a lot or people who play call of duty that have you know disabilities or whatever not you know people who pretty much have access to playing call of duty every day of the week and also people who don't play it as much as often. Because you gotta keep this in mind here. Let's say, let's talk about, let's say, let's say if you have a friend, right, that plays Call of Duty every once in a blue moon, you know, picks up Cold War, you know, when it's on sale, and plays Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War multiplayer or Warzone, you know, every once in a blue moon, you know, plays it, you know, maybe once a week, maybe twice a week, you know, doesn't play it every day or consecutively enough to get a really high score or, you know, someone who just isn't always contemplating the game to unlock Dark Matter, all that stuff, right? You know, those kinds of people. Okay, so the point is that if they can make, you know, the game, you know, easy and fun for them, you know, score-based matchmaking since they don't have a lot of stats, you know, they get them into bot lobbies or lobbies that are really easy or, you know, against players of their skill level and they're constantly always having fun or winning to them they don't mind you know like seeing a cool pack in the store when they open up the game and be like no oh, i kind of like that skin how much is it and they go to the store and they see you know it's 1000 you know a thousand cod points or whatever right you know they don't think uh, you know ahead you know saying you know what i'm gonna buy a hundred dollars worth of cod points save me a little bit of money and get a lot of cod points for later right no they just see you know what i'll just go to the store franchise store how much you how much, you know I need I need let's say a thousand cod points how much is that ten dollars shoot I'll, I'll spend ten dollars and they spend that ten dollars to get that many cod points they need right let's say that you know so they buy the skin you know they use it you know they have fun for a couple weeks you know maybe a month and then you know maybe a month later the Call of Duty releases a new skin you know Activision releases a new skin for maybe another character or something and they're like you know what that skin also looks cool I like that one you know I'm having fun with the game maybe I'll maybe I'll buy you know just a little bit of you know DLC you know and they pick it up again let's say it's you know you know twenty dollars right you know two thousand cod points they go in the store buy the you know twenty dollar cod point pack and they get you know extra 400 cod points so they use those cod points as well to maybe buy some little skins or stuff like that you know in the store you know some weapon blueprints stuff like that and you know they start spending a lot more money on the game and before they realize it you're spent like a hundred and some dollars when you could really only spend a hundred dollars and save you know i would say thirty dollars in the end you see what i'm saying here is that Activision is trying to keep these players, you know, constantly in the game, still having fun, so they spend more microtransactions like this, you know. Now, sure, they're maybe not getting the full sale out of the copy of the disc, but hey, it really don't matter at the end of the day, right? They just want to see sales pre-after the game, right? So, there's that. And also, the people who play Warzone, you know, since it's free to play and they c keep releasing a bunch of these cool skins, right? Um, they're like, you know what, the game's free to play, I'm gonna buy that skin, I'm gonna pick it up. How much is it, how much is it, you know? Stuff like that, you know, that Call of Duty is really trying to keep these players who are playing the free to play aspect, or playing the things that, you know, not a lot of people always constantly playing, money, right? Because the people who play Call of Duty every day, at the end of the day, like me, you, or Nero Cinema, all these guys, we don't make a lot of money for the Call of Duty franchise, we really don't, because we keep in mind of the old school days where we only had to pay, you know, like a dollar, you know, two dollars for you know, a whole awesome camel pack, calling card, reticles, and stuff like that, right? So we don't spend a lot of money in the Call of Duty store. I mean, sure, we'll buy a few skins here and there, you know, the operator packs, stuff like that, but we're not spending a crazy amount of money at the end of the day compared to a lot of these other players who are just playing Warzone 
or let's say you know every Call of Duty every once in a while, right? So to them, Activision sales, you know, they don't count us into that percentage, right? And since score-based matchmaking is, you know, making a lot of money for them due to these players and always getting good lobbies, always getting bot lobbies, and all these kids with disabilities and stuff like that are getting easy lobbies, having fun, you know, they buy and buy more skins, you know. And with that fact, you know, they have, you know, like they say, the, you know, mom's wallet is always tied to their account, right? So they spend money like crazy, buy tons of things in the store, and they're getting a lot of money from it. So got to keep that in mind as well. Activision is thinking about all these stuff just as we do in the communities as well. And, you know, with that in mind, you know, all this stuff is just changing, right? I mean, even Call of Duty has come out and say that they're going to make Warzone a priority in their franchise and probably take back a little bit of what they're putting into the main games is what I'm guessing, you know, what they meant by that. They're going to spend more focus and time on Warzone than they are going to on the main games. Of course, yet I don't know all about that stuff yet, you know, guys. It, it is, it is what it is. But I'm just saying that score based matchmaking is most likely here to stay, which is this pointing fact about Call of Duty, because all the old school players want it out. We want to have the old school lobbies where you can join, and it would be a mix of good players, bad players, and just your average players, right? And you could still have tons of fun, you know, playing the game. But yet again, I don't know. I'm just that little like 10% of Call of Duty data makes the money and plays the game every day, so. You know, it is what it is, guys. If you guys, you know, want to talk about score based matchmaking in the comment section down below, I would like to talk to you guys about it. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow's video, though, I'm going to talk about the leaks and stuff like that for Season 2, since Season 2 is being released in about 10 days when this video was being made. Um, about 13 some days, something like that. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Yeah. And I hope you guys, you know, go check out FNXFit.com for some of the cool fitness gear if you guys are trying to get into fitness or whatnot. They have some reasonable prices there for their, you know, supplements, stuff like that. They aren't expensive at all. And, of course, you can save yourself 15% off by using my code cypher 2 in at checkout. So, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Always have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. Have a great Valentine's Day for you guys. Have an awesome one. Peace out. <laughs>